Richie, thanks for joining us. That was a point gained, wasn't it? <coughs> no, two points lost. Was you watching the same game as me? Okay, okay, uh, I thought we were totally dominant. I thought we were brilliant. Um, yes, we do need to create more chances and players need to produce more pieces of skill, more cleverness in the final third. But apart from... A, in the first half, they had a breakaway and a free kick, and which he scored on. It's poor from our part. The setup is poor. And then we shouldn't be having letting good players have a strike from the edge of the box. Um, but in not really any danger. We had a good chance early within the first minute where Shaq went through, but his touch wasn't quite at it. Um, and then second half, it was just like, you know, I'm watching it from the sideline. I never remember looking right. It was always to the left. It was always in their half. We're asking questions. Our football was smooth at times. Our system really suited us. But we just need to make more more clever runs, unselfish runs for the people to pick up space. Uh, and then apart from when we went to 1-1 and Brownie does the, the back header and the Marquis goes through and then the corner then didn't feel under any threat in terms of, of, of the whole game. But um, I think when you equalise in the 90th minute, it's a point gained. And I understand your question, but the performance was, was as such that we deserve three. I made it 10 corners... Are you sort of concerned that they're not creating clear-cut chances from those yeah, set I mean, we pieces? Yeah, we played quite a few short today, and obviously with the with, with Pigs not starting and with Brandon Cooper not starting and Pratt's not starting, then our size is, is diminished a little bit, so I understand that. Um, we had a few... Dan, you back OK? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, was, I was worried then, he was holding it. Um, we had a couple where it fell to us on the, on the edge of the box, and then obviously we scored from one set play, so... Um, and listen, we need to be better from set plays. But two most important things we set set plays is the delivery. So we need the, we can't control the delivery. That's up to the players to practice their technique and put it in the right areas. And then the intensity of people's runs. Um, you, you wonder why West Ham scores so many so many set plays is because Ward Prowse practices, 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 and he puts it on the money. And you've got some big lads who are really determined to run his spaces. So we're a young group. And we need to be more more aggressive at set plays, but we'll get there. You just uh, checking on the fitness of Dana Jay. He looked very sharp when he came on. Yeah, I mean, listen, I love Dan to bits. I think since he's come to the club, he picked up a bad injury, but his smile is an infectiousness. He's is for see is for everybody to see around the place. So, can't wait to work with him. I think he gives us a threat that if people go tight, he can <coughs> produce <coughs> sorry produce a bit of skill to get the other side of people. Um, I thought Shaq was okay, but obviously Saturday, Tuesday for him is a bit of an ask at the moment. Um, I thought Phil was good. So um, some, the only problem, again, things went against us today with Tom James and 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 um, and Driz coming off injured. We then had to be careful because we only had one other opportunity to make a sub, and Theo was just holding his back. So um, we just needed more of a. We need more attackers, one for competition, one to carry on what we was doing. Um, we had that last year when, when three players are starting and, and then you sub three on and they continue to do what they, what they want. But I thought our setup was good. I thought tactically we were very, very good. And you're coming up against it. They're, them in the final third are really good. They're clever. They reverse passes. They chop people. Um, and I think they've got some good players here. It's a good club. They're well supported. Um, having some good banter behind the, behind the dugouts with us. Slagging my jeans off. I don't think they're that bad. Um, so yeah, a bit of good banter with them. Good club, good point in the end. But I think we should be coming away with three. How significant are those first half injuries? TJ was a dead leg. wasn't going to start this morning, but we decided to take a risk because you know, with a dead leg, you're not going to make it any worse. It's just the um, chance that it might seize up if he takes another knock on it. Uh, Drinnan's looks like a hamstring injury, so that's not great. Is there sickness in the club? Is there a, a reason? Yeah, why? Uh, no, Monks has got. So Monks, uh, he, he's ill. Galbraith pulled out yesterday. He's been struggling with a, a, a back spasm for a, a bit. Um, who else is there? And they're the two that came out of the squad from, from Saturday. So, yeah, we've just... And I'm, I'm, I've been desperate to get back to a four for a long, long time. I see the pictures clearer. I know exactly what I want from my team, but we've just not had the personnel. I mean, a fan... We played a game the other week and a fan is saying to me, Rich, go, go back to a four. Put wingers on. <laughs> John Graham's injured, Phil's injured. We've literally not got one fit winger at the club. I'm always loath to put Ruel out there at the moment because they go for it through the middle. Um, 
But I see a developing team, and I understand we've not won enough games in the last five or six, but I see a developing team that once we, we do start to impact the goal more, that there's not a lot, we don't concede many chances. Um, I see a lot, a lot of positives. So um, we keep going, we keep improving. Um, fans were good tonight, long way on a Tuesday night. So a lot of positives. I'm glad we got, we, we deserved at least a point from that game, Jesus. And we moved to the Cup now on Sunday. Chesterfield riding high in the National League. Were those players that are ill or injured, were they being contention? Um, <coughs> Monks potentially will be OK. I think TJ and Dan Hatt were struggling with a, with a dead leg, but he got through. I thought Dan was excellent. I thought it was so many good performances tonight. Um, TJ should be OK. Um, and we just have to wait to see what Keats can do with Galbraith because... Back spasms can be quick, but they can linger on a little bit. Um, and obviously, Drinham will, will be out. And how important is the Cup this season for the O's? Well, listen, I mean, I don't think I've ever had a good Cup run because I've always been... I've either gone into a club where they're already out of the, club, out, out of the Cups or then my remit, my remit at Swindon was, was to try and get in the top seven. So I wanted out of the Cups as soon as possible. My remit last year was to get in the top seven. I'm a, I wanted to get out the cups as soon as possible because it can be great having a cup run. No one remembers when you get to the fourth round and you get Stoke away. No one remembers that. People remember, people we give, we give people lifetime memories last year, um, which I hope will stay for them for a long, long time. But this year it's a little bit different. Um, financial has helped. We need a couple of players in when I mean, it was short on bodies. And if you give me the tools, then I'll produce the results. But we need to produce the results to bring some finances in, so hopefully it can help us in, in January.